Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a hair and makeup tutorial and I kind of based it around fall for you guys who are in autumn fall at the moment. The makeup is basically just a super smoky dramatic eyeliner, massive lashes and glossy red lips and a nice kind of like contoured bronzed cheek. And then the hairstyle I've paired up with this is super super easy. You can use your hair straightener to create it and it takes literally like five minutes or less to do it. This makeup and hair is incredibly glamorous and and even easier to create so if you want to learn how to go from the left to the right you know the drill just stay till the end before I do my makeup I like to just spritz a little bit of dry shampoo on my hair because I'm on like second or third day here so this will just soak up the oils while I do my makeup so I'm starting with my face and I'm using Stila one step correct primer just to neutralize the redness on my skin and then for my foundation I'm mixing two together today no reason really I just felt like it and then I'm just gonna apply this everywhere until my skin looks nice and flawless my concealer of choice today is the lasting perfection by killer collection getting tongue-tied right here I'm just putting this under my eyes to conceal my bags on my forehead chin nose and everything just to highlight my face a little bit and give myself a little more coverage without looking too cakey and then I'm just blending that out with my foundation brush and then once you've done all of your like liquids on your face just make sure you set them down with some powder I'm mixing these two together just because I was looking a little bit pink so I need a little bit more yellow and then I don't, yeah, whatever <laughs> and then to soak up the extra powder I'm just using a little bit of a face makeup fixing spray and then moving on to my eyebrows for my eyebrows I was kind of going for a natural but thick and undone kind of look because my hair like I was planning on doing it quite messy and undone I wanted the brows to look a little bit more effortless rather than overly polished I don't know if that makes sense and then I am just moving on to my eyes priming my eyelids with an eye primer and then I thought I would use that eyeshadow palette that I mentioned in my favorites video recently because it's really really you know suitable for fall it's got good fall autumn colors in it so I'm taking that lighter shade and buffing that all over my lid and underneath my eyes a little bit as well and then I'm taking a small brush with the black and just kind of lining my lower lash line and trying not to get that too thick I'm trying to get it quite thin and then just defining my crease with that warm chocolatey brown To make my life a little bit easier, I'm just using some shadow shields to create this eyeliner look. And I'm taking a gel eyeliner. This is my favorite. It's Black Track. It is starting to dry out a little bit, so I need to add in some like eye drops or something. But I'm just creating a semi thick line that's thinner on the inner corner. And I'm not worrying about it being too tidy because I'm smoking it out with black eyeshadow afterwards. Once that's done, I am going over the very edges with a liquid eyeliner just to make sure they're nice and sharp. And then after that, I'm taking a little bit of a powder concealer and just running that under my eyes a little bit just to make sure there's no marks left over from those shadow shields. And then on my waterline, I am using a white eyeliner. You can use a pencil if you like, but I'm just using this like gel cream one. And then I'm also going to highlight my inner corner and brow bone of my eye with this highlighter, which I will use on my cheeks later as well. And then of course, mascara, falsies, you know the drill. The lashes I have chosen today are EXO Beauty The Gold Digger and they are nice and dramatic and I think they go with this look really 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 well. So I'm just popping those on, making sure they're nice and secure on all the edges. And then don't forget just to go over that lash band a little bit with black eyeliner just to make sure the glue isn't showing. And then I am moving on to my lips. I chose a really dark vampy kind of red color. Feel free to pair up any color lip that you feel would suit this makeup look because you could really wear it with almost anything like nude, pink, purple, just whatever floats your boat. And 
And then continuing with my face makeup, I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury contour powder just to chisel out my cheekbones. And I also put a little bit around my nose and forehead, etc, etc. And then after that, I am moving on to my cheeks. And I am using this really pretty blush called Warm Soul. And it's by MAC. And I'm putting that on my cheeks. I felt like doing a really strong highlight, so I'm starting with MAC Cream Color Base in Pearl, I think this is. I'll write it in the down bar down below. And I'm just applying this to the top of my cheekbones with a small brush and blending it out really well. And then going over top of that with that powder I used earlier on my inner corner and brow bone. Spray a little bit more mist just to soak up any excess powder on your face and then we can move on to our hair and I noticed I spilled foundation on my friggin' top. So pissed. You'll find that most of the dry shampoo has been soaked up by all of the oil in your hair but I'm just going to run my fingers through and brush out any excess powder and brush out any knots in my hair. You want your hair to be nice and smooth before you start curling with a curling iron. I mean, no, with a straightening iron. <laughs> That's what I was meant to say. I am using the Numi Mega Star, and it's the pink one, as you can see. I am actually incredibly like happy with the quality of this. So it's got rounded plates on each side of like where the tong is. So it's really, really easy to create curls without any like snagging or like ripping out any hairs or anything like that. That's usually the biggest thing when curling your hair with a straightener. Like I've experienced that in the past. It just like rips out your hair and gets caught and stuff. But as you'll see, it didn't do that at all. It was super super smooth and I don't know I'm just really happy with how it went so as I said this is super fast what I do is I split my hair in half down the back and then I just take random sized sections on each side and then twist the straightener away from my face and then slowly like pull the hair through as you can see like what I'm doing right here <laughs> and I'm always just curling away from my face taking smaller sections bigger sections just to make the curls look a little bit messier rather than perfectly neat but you can do that as well if you want you can do them perfectly neat it's totally up to you this straightener has tourmaline infused ceramic plates which basically aids in the smoothing process like when you pull the hair through it really helps to smooth each and every hair and makes it nice and shiny and pretty looking as you can see like before before I curled my hair, my hair looks a little bit frizzball and the straighteners also feature an infrared heated strip and what this does is it just makes sure that the heat is kind of consistent so you get a really effective straightening or curling process, whatever you're doing. It's not going to lose heat as you go. If you are interested in purchasing the Mega Star, which is what I'm using here, or any other like curling iron or anything off the Numi website, I will put some discount codes in the down bar for you guys. For a quick rundown, the code love at Shinix will give you $39 ones, free argan oil, $12 shipping to Australia, New Zealand, Germany, and the UK. And the code it's Shinix will give you the Mega Star, which is what I used for $68 plus $12 shipping to Australia, New Zealand, Germany, and the UK. Of course, I am just doing the exact same on the other side, curling away from my face as well and then once I'm done I'm kind of running my fingers through the curls just to loosen them up a little bit and make them a little bit messier and then I thought I'd show you another product from my monthly favorites recently the hair shake that I talked about that I love basically I just spritz this in the ends and I also spritz some on the roots of my hair and then just use my fingers to kind of I don't know rough up my hair a little bit and make it look super messy and textured and yeah I don't really know what else to say. I'm not a hair expert, but this is what I did. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this hair and makeup tutorial and if you did please give the video a thumbs up and even leave a comment down below if you feel like it. Let me know what you thought of the video. I would love to hear from you. Also if you recreate the makeup don't forget to send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. Use my hashtag ShanXO and yeah that's it from me. I will talk to you again really really soon. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing day. Bye! Hey everyone, so today's makeup look, Halloween look I should say, is this stapled face, I don't even know, um, 